Hello you two people, today I am going to show you a very nice watch from Casio, Casio LF20W. This watch has become an instant success upon release as I see from multiple reddit posts about this watch. Many people just love this watch and I see good reasons for that. But for me it took a, a while to actually start liking this watch because initially I saw this watch as too much of a fashion watch rather than functionality watch, you know, it's just personal thing. But I gave this watch a second chance, a third chance and eventually I started liking this watch to the point where I grabbed this watch out of the watch box just because I want it. I want that watch on my wrist for that day because of the functions, because how comfortable it is and so on. But it's not all good. There are several questionable things, not necessarily bad, not necessarily deal breakers, but you should know that before you buy this watch. So let me tell you everything. Let's begin with the bad things and the first thing you might notice once you put this watch on the wrist is that it looks like the battery is dying out. Why numbers look so washed out? Why don't, why don't they look completely black? Well I believe there is a little bit of a mistake on Casio's side and I'm not the only one who have noticed that. I have read several comments on reddit about that as well. Uh, the thing is on LCD screen there is polarizing film. And depending on an angle the polarizing film is set, it changes the angle at which numbers look completely black as well. So most digital watches actually set at a slight angle. Almost no digital watch like these look completely black if you look straight ahead at 90 degree angle. They all look black if you at several degrees under 90 degree like when the watch is on the wrist you never look really 90 degree angle at the watch you always look at slight angle like 80 degrees probably or something like that and the thing with this watch it, that it feels that the angle is set a little bit too steep like for example i don't know if you're gonna see that on camera but yeah so 90 degree angle both watches and they both look like the battery is dying out a little bit. Now let's rotate the wrist a little bit. So right now F91 double looks completely black, completely black numbers. But on LF20 W numbers still look a little bit a little bit gray. And I need to add quite a bit of angle, like like this much, to make those numbers to look completely black. Maybe you know it's not a deal breaker. I am not even sure if you're gonna see that on camera, but something that I wanted to mention you that this watch needs quite a bit of angle to make those numbers to look completely black. Now I believe the second thing you're gonna notice is how slow is the menu on this watch. It's surprisingly slow actually for such a simple watch. Let me give you some examples. Like what do I have here? This G-Shock 5610U. Like it's so quick. It's so quick. No delay whatsoever. Uh, F91W of course it's super quick. As fast as I press the button menu changes. Uh, another example. Oh very fast. Very fast watch. Another example very fast very fast watch this one oh super fast no delay whatsoever now only watch that i have that also has a little bit of delay is this one yeah it does have a little bit of delay i can actually press button quicker than the menu changes but this one is the slowest of them all it's like this is really slow <laughs> Like, look how many times I can press the button until the menu changes. I mean... It's not like the button is unresponsive, but... Let me, let me try with my nail. No, no, the menu is actually slow. It's not horrible, you know, it's not a deal breaker, but it's it could be a little bit annoying to some people. Another bad thing is water resistance. 
I mean, this is not some kind of a super slim watch like MQ24, like this one, or F91W. You know, I can't forgive watches like these. These are super slim, super comfortable, and they only have 30 meters of water resistance. But this watch has some thickness. It is noticeably thicker than F91W, at least in the real world. I don't know if you're gonna see that on camera, but this is bigger watch. And I, s I had several Casios, which look a little bit like F91W, yet they have 50 meters of water resistance. They have a little bit more thickness and have more water resistance. Why this watch doesn't have more water resistance than 30 meters? I don't know. It's, it's, it's a little bit of a deal breaker for some people, I believe. I really wish it would have at least 50 meters. Those are all the bad things I found about this watch. Everything else is just great. For example, comfort. Comfort is great. This is a small, lightweight watch. According to my measurements, it is only 23 grams and it is almost almost as comfortable as mq24 or f91w but the only place it lacks a little bit is that the strap is a little bit stiffer it is stiffer than f91w so in terms of a comfort this takes number one because the strap is very flexible very slim and the watch itself is very small second place takes f91w because the strap is a little bit stiffer than mq24 and third place is for this watch so it is not far off still very good in terms of a comfort i want to show you some functionality of this watch but before i do that tell me what time it is try reading this analog display and tell me what time it is now the reveal of time. So if you got it right, it's fine. For me, initially it was a little bit difficult, but I got used to that. And it's actually a great thing to have this secondary watch on the screen because whenever I use timer, I can actually see the current time right there. It's not that easy to read, but at least there is something, you know. <laughs> so speaking about the timer, it's, our, it's, it's, it's also very good because I can actually go up and down in numbers. The only annoying thing about all Casio watches is that buttons feel like in reverse. For example, I would like to go up in numbers, so I press upper button, but numbers go down. So I would like to go down in numbers, so I press button which is down there, yet I go up in numbers. So always takes me second try, you know, I would like to set 11, so let's go up. Oh wrong button <laughs> not a big deal but i still can't get used to that and now so you know what let me run through some functions of this watch on the main screen you can set four time zones first time zone is your hometown second time zone third time zone fourth time zone and you can for example i would like to say to change the second time zone so go to second time zone hold adjust button Right now it's Mexico, but I can go, you know, to other cities using these two buttons. I can go back and forward, which is very nice, very easy to set. Let's let's leave it on Chicago. So another time zone is New York City. Another is Hong Kong. Let's change Hong Kong to Tokyo. So let's go to Tokyo. I hope I'm going the right way. Yeah, let's Tokyo. Leave it on Tokyo. So yeah. First time zone is hometown, home time and second, third and fourth you can change to the custom ones. It also has full full world timer if you want, want to play around and see what time is around the world. <laughs> and it has five alarms, five alarms, here they are, hourly charm right there. And of course it has timer, very nice thing to have and stopwatch stopwatch shows split seconds which is very nice and back to main screen so 
So what's the final verdict where I gonna place this watch on my website? ThomasWatchReviews.com where read watches into different tier lists. You know, at one point I started liking this watch so much that I even thought about putting this watch in a god tier, but no, there are too many questions, I have too many doubts. So I'm gonna place this watch into keepers, which means I highly recommend buying this watch. This is a great watch, not expensive, comfortable, very functional. There are some questionable things, but they are not deal breakers. Considering the price point, this is absolutely wonderful watch. One of those cast decorations where, you know, they shoot blindfolded, they make watch model after watch model, but sometimes they just hit things right and they create something like this. This is just amazing watch. I really recommend buying it. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.